Alright, so what is up you guys? My name is Devin, and before this video starts, I just want to say I do have a cold, so my voice is going to be a little bit nasally, and I might be sniffling here and there, um, but I, I didn't want my cold to stop from bringing you guys these videos, so, you know, I'm trying, I'm just kind of manning through it, I'm not going to let it keep me from making videos, but, anyways, the topic of today's video is... It's a little bit more personal than probably you're used to on my channel. So, if you don't know, I'm not what you call a gaming commentator. People might think, because I upload a lot of gaming stuff, that I'm a gaming commentator. I am in no way a gaming commentator, as you would say. I'm a YouTuber. The difference between those two is that a gaming commentator, all they do is purely upload stuff about gaming. They don't really include their life in their channel. They just want you to know the gaming them. Like you see with like level cap and them, you don't see the real them, you just see their gaming. But with me, I like to let you guys know about me and who I am and what my real life is like, not just what I'm like on the internet. So, you know, this video is a little bit more personal and I'm hoping that it can be good advice to everyone. So if you don't know, I'm about to be 17. I'm a junior in high school at the moment. So, you know, I don't have a lot of life experience. I haven't gone through a lot of things yet or experienced a lot of stories that I can look back on. But this video is talking about the subject of getting led on. So, in other words, that just means that it's like a prolonged breakup or a prolonged rejection. It's just when like a girl or even a guy, they make you think there's something there between you two. But all they do is, well, they just lead you on. They make you think there's going to be something between you two, and then they don't. There never is. And this is probably worse than a rejection, because this is just like getting rejected for an extended amount of time. And trust me, it sucks. I don't like it. So before I can give you advice on it, I might as well go back to one of my stories that and it's actually kind of recent. At least some of the events in it that made me think about making this video. So... Freshman year of high school, you know, I think I'm all bad because I'm I'm a grown man. I'm in high school now. I'm not a little child in junior high and elementary anymore. You know, I, I you know, I'm feeling like a man. You know, uh, by this time, you know, I still, you know, I was really I knew with the girls, still am, but whatever about that. And there was this girl I liked in one of my classes. Um, I'm not gonna say the name, no names, because I don't want to. Uh, you know, I don't want to put out nobody's name, even if I'm kind of dis a distaste for this person. But I like this girl, and I, I never asked her out, mostly because she ended up going out with, at my time, my worst enemy. You know, I'm kind of cool with him now, I guess, but, you know, he's my enemy because he used to bully me a lot in junior high and uh, just didn't like him. He's kind of a punk. But she ended up going out with him. You know, he's a douchebag. He's, he's a liar. All that good, all that bad stuff. And she chose him over me. You know, I always felt like, why? Like, why would you choose the douchebag over me? And yes, that is a very big thing in high school is girls just love douchebags. Don't, I don't know why, but girls love douchebags. I will say that the douchebags usually have a lot of confidence. But it doesn't make them not douchebags. But anyways... The, she went out with him instead of me, and you know, I, I I didn't think the relationship was gonna last as long as it did. It ended up lasting pretty much the whole ninth grade year, but there was times in those years where like she would like you know have like this um what's the word like she show an attraction for me, show a liking for me, and you know that was very confusing because you know I I didn't think she liked me, so whatever I I kept trying to get her didn't work you know I kind of just gave up. And then we had this big conflict. I'll talk about that story another time. But we had a big conflict. That pretty much ended that year's attempt. So then we come to 10th grade year. My sophomore year. Everything's good for the whole year. I don't have any classes with her. So I don't have a lot of confrontations with her. Only time I see her is at lunch. She sit with me and my friends at lunch. Because she's friends with some of my friends. Um, you might have seen them from my real life video. Javier and them. She's friends with them. So um, yeah, she's friends with them. She talking and stuff you know randomly out of the blue we're in like may we're about one about just a couple weeks from the end of school and she comes up to me with this like all like trying to like talk to me and like all nicey with a freaking smile and all that stuff she's like telling me to text her and all this stuff and you know i didn't have a phone uh don't, don't ask why we're, we're in the struggle but i didn't have a phone 
So she like convinced me to download a, an app where I can text her. So I did. She, get, she wrote her number on my hand. And while what's funny is while she was doing that, I was literally just talking to my friends while she had my hand writing a number on it. So you know, I, I kind of kept cool there. I didn't want to be awkward, so I didn't just stand there like a silent little mm, awkward person. So yeah, I ended up texting her and. You know, things are going good, all that good stuff. I go to try to, you know, I'm just kind of confused at this moment, because you're like, when, since when did you like me? So, I straight up ask her, I'm like, do you have feelings for me? And, you know, instead of getting like a yes or no, I get something completely different. I get the avoidance. She avoids every question dealing with that. Like, I would literally, the, um, one of the text messages, I included not only a question about that, but something else in it. And instead of answering the question about her feelings, she answered the other question. So, that, she was avoiding the question. So, you know, I figured, eh, she doesn't like me. So, <laughs> gave up on her. You know, summer goes by, and now we're in junior year. And this is, be this is about a couple weeks back. She starts showing, like, I start talking to her all casually and whatnot on Facebook, and, no, wait, actually, no, there was a conflict that almost aroused, but it kind of got avoided, and I don't know where she just gives, like, texts me with a smiley face, and then, so I text her, everything's going good, we're talking and whatnot, and, you know, I'm, I'm just taking it casually, and then I kind of just, you know, we, we start talking about personal stuff, like how, you know, where our hearts are just, like, broken and stuff from, you know, just our lives. And then, you know, I, I've spilled my feelings. I finally balled up and told her how I feel. And it went well, because she, it, she liked it. And then, when we came back, we went to school that one day. At lunch, you know, it started out as I was just at lunch line. She gave me that nice hi with a smile, so I say hi back. And then, at the end of the lunch... She wanted me to walk with her, so, you know, I did. I walked with her, walked through uh, with her after lunch. My friend Eric's standing behind me like a creeper. He convinces me to, uh, to hold her hand. Well, actually, no, he convinces her, so I wasn't even listening. But all of a sudden, I see her putting her hand out, so I grab her hand. I know this is going to sound lame. First time holding a hand with a girl. So, he's like, I was like, what the hell is this shit? So, um, you know, I, I thought, now, now, I thought there was something there now. But, I got home. And I'm talking to her, and I ask her, are we going out? So, she says no. Uh, we're not going out. Because something about her ex, and something about if we went out, she, he would kill me. I think it was a cover-up. I don't know. We'll never know. But, whatever. It, it, was, it is what it is. And, you know, things went from... Things kept happening. Uh, we were friends. We were going... We were pre getting along pretty well. Um... She gave me a hug like the day before, and then the day after, out of nowhere, she tells me to leave her alone. Ne didn't do anything, didn't really provoke that type of thing, but all of a sudden I find her telling me to leave her alone. So, that's where the story ends. There was never nothing there, there's never gonna be anything there, but she made me think there was something there. So I know that you guys probably didn't want to listen to that whole story, but I thought it would be good for you to, to kind of see how what I've dealt with. So getting led on, it 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 really does hurt. It, you know, I don't want to just like sit here and be like all sappy and stuff, but you know, I found myself there's this time where I was just really depressed because I, it just hurts. It's not it does, it's not a good feeling whenever you think there's something there and it just was never anything there. It's it's very heart wrenching. It it's the worst thing that can that really can happen to you. And you know, I I got through it. Um, I, I'm, I'm forgetting about her now, it's all in the past, um, I still hate that little bitch, but, uh, ha, huh. um, yeah, you know, I, I'm just going on with my life, I'm not gonna let it rule my life, I'm not gonna let it, uh, take over and ruin my, um, my fatigue, my morale, so, uh, here's my advice to you guys, if you, if you see that something's not going anywhere, then, it's just best to leave it at that, because you know I, I was just so into like this. I liked her for so long that I let myself get trapped into her little trap, and you can't let that happen. If it's not going anywhere, just you got to get over it. Just don't 
even if they try to show this fake interest in you, you just gotta break away. You can't let it envelop you. If you do that, you're gonna end up in a situation you don't wanna be in. You're gonna end up depressed, heartbroken. You're gonna feel really bad about it. So you're gonna hate yourself, and you're gonna think there's something wrong with you. Cause I won't, I won't lie. Um, I felt like something was wrong with me. I thought I was like thinking to myself, why am I not good enough for her? And you know, am I good enough for her? Who knows? Some people tell me that she's not good enough for me. Anyways, if you're getting led on, you can pretty much tell. If, if you keep on having these type of conversations like I did, but y'all not going out, or she's not even inferring that y'all are going out, it's a, le it's a lead on. It's not anything real. And... It's best to get out of the switch situation. I know it might you might like that feeling of that you think you might finally get that dream girl you've been wanting, but it's best if you just break it off. I know it's gonna hurt. It is gonna suck. You're gonna think about them for a while, but as long as you don't think about them in like in the bathroom with tissues, and you're probably good. But uh, neither than that, you need to just get, need to get them out of your head. You need to move on with your life because there's a lot more girls out there that will most like. Well, you know what? Girls or guys. This is depending on if you're a girl or a guy. Guys do lead on girls a lot. And it, it kind of different when a guy leads on a girl. It, it, it kind of is. But anyways, point is, just break it off. Forget about it. Move on with your life. And I guarantee you'll feel a lot better soon. It, it's going to hurt at first. You're going to want that person really badly. But it's best not to dwell on something that isn't to be. And that's my advice to you guys. I know I'm only seven. I'm about to be only seventeen, so my my wisdom is not what it could be if I was an older male. I'll end up telling the story a lot um in the future, so it's no biggie. But if you like the advice, guys, be sure to click click the like button. And also, if you have any advice you want me to make a video about, or if you personally want me to give you some advice, and you can be. Uh, be sure to inbox me. Don't put them in the comment section. Kind of keep that stuff private. Unless it's like a topic that you just want me to overall talk about and see if I've had some uh, first-hand experiences with it. So, this comes to the part of the video where I tell you to like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, guys. Peace.